My name is Megan Ace from Megan Ace Interiors. I'm an interior designer and a stylist. I'm here today to talk about how you can open up a space. My favourite room in the house is this one. It really is the heartbeat of our home. We can do anything in here from toddler yoga to then a party like my husband's 40th. My key tips for opening up a space would be to take walls out if you can and to extend if you can. We have taken three walls out of this room and then we've also extended at the back. So even though we have opened up the space, we still wanted to create a natural divide. Well, we have done that with the use of furniture here. Deciding to keep the rolled steel joist, this RSJ goalpost exposed. I really love the way it kind of naturally sections off the spaces as well. A tip if you do have children is to frame their artwork and create a gallery wall. I think anything in the home which can evoke memory, emotion and something that is personal to you is so lovely. I love our dresser for storage. Pieces with a story behind always resonate with me. This was actually um, my late great grandfather's. I love things on display as well. Like my mum bought me this plate and I think it's just, it's just beautiful there. Also for toy storage, we just whack all the children's toys under here. The use of baskets so you can shift stuff about. I wouldn't want really anything that said toy storage. Just use things a bit alternatively. This extended calendar allows us all to see what's on the day's agenda. This light is one of my favourite pieces. Everyone thinks it's a mirror, but it's not. Picture ledges are a fantastic way to display art as well. Think about layering your lights. So from down lights, wall lights, and then floor lights, LED strips, which you can pick up really cheaply now. Pop those into shelves just to create a really lovely wash on the walls. It can make such a difference to the space, being able to zone various bits of lighting and then you can just have the option of that space being lit. So this is my absolute favourite piece of furniture in this space. It's our transportable kitchen island from Peppermill Interiors. It's on four wheels, depending on what we're doing and what we need. Unclick it and then we can shift it about the space really easily. We had my husband 40th here at the end of last year and we just flipped it around the space and got two bartenders to run a bar behind it and also if we do move we can take it with us. These freestanding open shelves are super handy here, relatively cheap from Ikea. Having things on display as a mother of two young children is really handy to do things super quickly. So this is our family bathroom. It was originally two rooms, we took the wall out here. This is a little stud wall that our builder created and we created recessed shelves in this mainly for product storage. And then we lit this up with LED strips as well. And behind here is our walk-in shower, which we have some spotlights that are washing the floor and also another down light as well. So you can actually see yourself washing. We've also used LED strip lighting on our sink unit, which our builder created from our loft struts when we had our loft conversion done. I love having this Mr. and Mrs. sink, that's Mr's. He is forever shaving in there and it means I don't have to go anywhere near it. So this is our master bedroom in what was the loft. I really wanted to maximize the space in here, doing things like having an open shower, which some people find rather shocking, but uh, we're more than happy with it and putting it in to the space that had the most height in this room. Then I love this little feature corner over here with our Moroccan sink and the hexagonal pink tiles behind. I think you can be really creative and play around with those kind of spaces. Final bit of advice is to create a space that is going to work for you and your family. That's going to be really personal and make the space future-proof. Don't spend money on things that actually you're gonna have to take out in two years because it doesn't work for you anymore. You can probably open up a space without making structural changes by lifting furniture from the floor. The key is that you want to see as much floor space as possible. If you can add windows into a space, flooding a space with natural light will help keep it open. So those have been my tips on how to open up a space. I hope you've enjoyed watching how we've done it with ours. I've been Megan Ace and thank you for watching.